Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to take an overview of work items that are available in Team Foundation Server 2015. Work items really depends on when you create your team project in TFS first time, which template that you use uh, when you created your team project. There are three templates available in Team TFS 2015. One is Scrum, other is CMMI, and um, then Agile. So the work items are going to vary based on what process that you chose when you created your um, uh, team project. We'll take a look on uh, each project in my Visual Studio, I have created three team projects. One is following Scrum methodology, other is more formal, which is CMMI, and then third one is following the Agile methodology. We'll go through uh, all the work items for each template. There are work items that are common uh, between all these three uh, templates, and there are work items that are available only in Scrum or CMMI or Agile, and we will cover those. So let's go in my Visual Studio. All right, I have a, a project right here called Tech Brothers. When I created this team project, um, I used Scrum methodology. I used Scrum template when I created this project. So let's quickly take a look what work items are available in Scrum methodology when you create your team project using that methodology. Um, right here is, are the work items. If you don't have this view, you can click on home button. You can select your project, the team project right here. Click on home button and this will appear right here. My work pending changes. The, the thing that we're interested in this video are work items. So click on work items. In order to see what, uh, how many work items are available in Scrum uh, template, you need to click on this little arrow right here, uh, new, right next to new work item. So click on that and all the work items that's available in Scrum uh, methodology will appear. So we have bug, task, product backlog items, epic, features, impediment, and test cases. So before we get into uh, the brief overview, overview of these uh, work, uh, work items in Team Foundation Server, let me quickly uh, take you to understand a little bit about Scrum methodology. Believe me that I'm not going to go in too much detail of the scrum methodology because it takes a whole lot but at least i'm trying to relate uh the scrum methodology to the work items that's available in this um when you create your team project using this methodology so i have created just a a, a little ms paint thing so in scrum uh, let's say that you have you're working on a product um, and that's a project and it has a start to finish date and you have many um, little things to work on uh, on that project, many tasks to complete on that project in order to hit the uh, release date, final release date. So all those uh, little tasks that uh, are going to be completed, uh, they are called in Scrum World product backlog items. And uh, you know that uh, it's maybe three months long project and you wanted to organize that project so that uh, using Scrum methodology. In Scrum methodology, what you do is you take the product backlog items, you uh, divide them based on their priority, what needs to be completed first, and you each of that, uh, um, each of those items, let's say there are two items, three items, depends on their priority and how long it will take for you to complete that. You divide that into smaller pieces called sprints. So if you notice right here, uh, product backlog items, I have items A to L right here. And I have divided uh, into sprint and each sprint has three product backlog items. My main uh, problem, um, purpose is here that I will complete in one sprint A to C. And that would be uh, probably my target. So when I organize this entire project and I know that it contains maybe there's a product that you need to add two more features into existing uh, product maybe that's your uh, uh, project and those features right here uh, because um, <clears throat> sprint can be com uh, backlog product backlog items should be completed in one sprint in ideal world uh, but maybe feature needs maybe two sprint three sprint four sprint I don't know um, which project you would be working on but uh, um, right here I just put a feature a 
and uh, that would be take two sprints to complete feature b would take next two sprints to complete and once feature a and b both completed then it would be your uh, final deliverable uh, project um, um, yes the project or the product so uh, that would hit your final release date uh, as i said that there are many things many other things that is in scrum methodology like testing um, you know issues and, and everything so just to understand that this this is the epic epic is just to organize your product backlog and your features it's a hierarchy uh, basically uh, epic is a hierarchy that is um, feature a and feature b you first create an epic you create feature a and then you have product backlog and you have sprints in feature a there are two sprints in feature a and each sprint has product backlog items that needs to be completed so it's a hierarchy epic feature and then you go sprint each sprint has product backlog so just uh, wanted to give you a quick overview that uh, that might relate a little bit to the work item that's available i hope this helps but um, let's go back to our um, uh, work items right here so uh, the first um, work item is bug let's say in in first sprint um, you completed a b and c and the second sp uh, sprint you have completed product backlog item c uh, e f and g these six items completed two sprints completed and there is a feature that needs to be released uh, feature can be released in um, you know one release uh, you know the feature can be completed so uh, the tester comes in and they test it and they find a bug uh, you know in, in existing feature and if you find a bug then you need to create um, a work item in team foundation server bug and will uh, this bug will be assigned to the development team or whoever you want to assign it who, who are working on that it may be the database is not coming online or is very slow or um, login page is not appearing right maybe that's the bug um, or maybe the login you wanted it on right side of the, the the application and it's not on the right side it's more of a center so that would be a bug you create a bug and you assign it to the person and uh, they will complete that and then you can uh, track the status uh, on the bugs that you have created so this is this is very useful uh, when you create work items to track the status of your work items to a particular uh, team project uh, now uh, backlogs more of a uh, product backlogs more of like tasks so if a b and c there are three tasks that needs to be completed in that one sprint then you create a task and you assign it to uh, uh, whoever team that you want to assign it for for example if it needs to be uh, a new database needs to be created for your project then you assign it to sql server dbas and you create a task and you assign it to that uh, um, you know that team or a particular one person uh, your active directory would be right there in your team foundation server and you can uh, uh, retrieve the information about your uh, um, uh, you know the support emails distribution email and everything um, and next is the product backlog items obviously that if um, once when you first start your project you you organize the product backlog items so you choose like from a to z these are the product backlog items and if that's the the work item that you need to create which is probably i would say in the beginning uh, then uh, all those tasks and you would know that each person has to do such and such then you create a product backlog item epic is again is more of a, a hierarchy um, and organizing your product backlog as i said that uh, uh, your you have uh, sprints you have features you have product backlog and the features are more um, connected with the epic so epic has like two features and each feature has sprint sprint has backlog items now next thing is features obviously if you um, are working on the product and uh, a, a new feature needs to be added then you need to create a work item called feature impediment basically in scrum world impediment is an issue um in if, if when we go to the other um team project that is more of a like a cmmi or agile methodology it's uh, known as issue so if you find um in an existing sprint or a feature there's a there's a issue 
uh, there that um, it's not accepting the logins or password it's not accepting um, and things are not appearing right on the, the page something something like that so you will create an issue in um, scrum template is called impediment so you need to create that um, this is the test case once you finish your feature you think that you have finished your feature but it cannot go into uh, it cannot be implemented until it's tested right so this is where you will uh, create a test case and assign it to your tester and they will test it if they find it they are the one mostly using these uh, work items or maybe reporting to you that there is a bug or uh, this didn't um, there, there's an issue with that feature, uh, stuff like that. Issue could be like a data issue, um, that data is not appearing for the last three months. If this, this project is supposed to get just, uh, the last three months, it's uh, getting all seven years data. I'm just, uh, um, making stuff up, just know, knowing from my, uh, experience that what could happen, uh, during a project. So basically this is, this is, uh, uh just a quick overview of the features that is related to the scrum technology now let's go and look at the other uh, template other methodology such as cmmi um, and um, agile all these uh, uh, the work items that we ha we have covered in this one i will not cover if i see a new one then i will cover that so i need to go back to home and then I'll go to my team foundation server because I have another collection that I have those two projects under. So I'll click here, I'll click on project and my teams and manage connections. And as you can see under TFS, this is TBS, TFS, Tech Brothers, TFS. I have two other projects right here. Right now, uh, this is uh, Tech Brothers. This is the team project that we just talked about. And let's click on TBS team this is more of a cmmi as you can see in the collection has changed tbs collection uh, you can have uh, your team projects under the same collection i just have um, created another collection and created these two projects so let's click on uh, uh, tbs team this is a cmmi and we'll cover that and click on work items and we'll go through the same thing click on this little arrow and you will see that there are more work items appeared under CMMI than it was um, uh, in Scrum. So we have bug, we have covered that task. Now the requirement, since it's a more formal, you might, you might be working on a project that is uh, um, not entirely the IT project. Even IT project have requirements, but you go uh, work with business and business has a uh, uh, you know the requirements you gather those requirements as a BA usually BA works on that and get the requirements from the business and then hand it to you you put those requirements that okay this product has to have such and such and such these are the requirements so you cover uh, you create a requirement and you attach your requirement if you have uh, gathered a soft soft copy um, of the requirement you can uh, when we we'll, we'll cover that when we create actually a work item but uh, that's where you can uh, add your requirements of your project change request if uh, there's a um, functionality that needs to be changed and you need to request a change obviously it's more of a formal um, template and uh, it needs a business overview uh, and business needs to take a, uh, a take a look at that and uh, if some things didn't work that the way they're supposed to be and you wanted to wanted them to change it maybe it's a budget issue whatever the case may be and you will create a work items called change request epic we have covered that feature we have covered that an issue is impediment in scrum but in uh, agile and uh, in uh, cmmi a methodology is called issue if you found an issue with your product you will create a work item called issue review obviously this is a formal again this is a formal um, um, a template so before you uh, release or before you uh, actually implement into any uh, environment your your product you have to have a review you have to have approval from your directors from your management from business folks then you create an item um, called um, review 
and then you assign it to the persons maybe it, it is your director it is your manager whatever the case may be you create uh, and and they will review it and, and if things look okay to them they will approve it if they if it doesn't then they will co comment it out and you have to take that and put it back in your uh, product backlog as an item risk you this is very important that if you're uh, um, uh, building a, a product and there uh, might be a risk involved in there then you create that okay if we don't if we finish this project project on december the 30th then you know we might be running into a risk of losing maybe a couple of features that we discussed in the beginning but uh, under time crunch um you know there could be a risk uh, in there or in it world maybe the the website is um uh, more of a um you know public facing and firewall needs to be there but um you know it's not all that a strong firewall i'm just making stuff up believe it or not uh, just to give you an idea that this is what when when you see a risk in your product you need to create a um, work item called risk so that that risk will be assessed by the upper management and if they sign off on that risk you can move forward if they don't sign it then you need to stop and um uh, you know uh, look at that risk and and cover that under your uh, product Test case, obviously, this is uh, what, as I said, that uh, each feature, anything that you make changes, new product and everything, you need to be tested and you need to create the test cases. Um, and when you create the work item test case, you can basically upload the test case steps and that will go to the tester and they will test it. If everything goes good, then it'll be fine. So these are the work items under a CMMI um, template. Let's go on Agile. Click on Agile and we will go back to home and click on work items just so that we can get used to, um, you know, uh, going at the default screen and then come to the work items. If I click on arrow, little arrow right here, uh, it is about the same, let me, Let me go back here. And I'm going to select the Agile. And then open the project and click on Work Items and click on this arrow. As you can see that in Agile methodology, there are different uh, uh, work items, bug we have covered, task we have covered, user stories. Now the feature can be built on user stories and if, um, uh, you know, if there is even a bug and they have, um, they have corrected the bug, they, they, they write a log and that would be a user story that, okay, so this is, this is supposed to work this way. Uh, maybe tester didn't know that that uh, this is uh, you need to click on one button and then need to click on the second button then that become a user story and feature can be built on user story backlog can be built on user story epic we have covered that feature issue and test case so this was a, just a quick overview of all the work items that is available under different templates uh, in tfs um, and I hope this video helps a little to understand work items before we create work items. Uh, my intention is that when you uh, create a work items, you, you probably need to understand the what methodology or what template that team project that you, that, 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 um, that was created under what template. So based on that, these work items will be available. I hope this helps.